fine. That was easy. And today in Homemade Science, I'd like to show you some highlights from our latest egg drop project. Now normally when most people do this, they package around the egg and drop the whole package. In my assignment, we drop a raw egg and you have to build some type of device that actually catches it and keeps it safe. Now to make this a little bit more challenging, students are also limited as far as what materials they can use. Three square feet of cardboard, four sheets of newspaper, 14 sheets of copy paper, three meters of string, four cups of some type, eight straws, and three meters of tape. They can arrange it any way they want to, but they are limited to those materials. After spreading plenty of newspaper on the floor in case of misses, students will then drop the egg for the first of three possible trials. The first height is two meters high. That looks like it survived. Is it good? If students are successful at two meters, they'll then try for a higher score at four meters. I have two different tubes that are attached to the upstairs railing with a string hanging down that leads to the lower level. And this will act as a guide to the project. Success of four meters then goes on to five meters. Now this is a middle school assignment, but this year we challenged the high school physics class to participate also. Some of these kids did this five years ago, but we're going to give them another shot at it, but this time with reduced materials. We're going to say who does a better job, the middle school or the high school physics class. Can you explain the physics to you? There is no plan. <laughs> yeah, as of now, there is no, no plan. The high school students didn't have quite as much time for planning and testing. They had slightly less materials, but probably have a little bit more insight into the concept of impulse. Oh yes, one other thing, their initial job height was two and a half meters instead of two meters. Of course, your project can't work if you don't hit the target. Oh, 
In many cases, the initial impact wasn't the problem. It was actually bouncing out of the container that ended up breaking the egg. We found many eggs that survived the lower heights, then survived the five meter height. In there. Oh. That might actually be. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. That's good. That is actually good. <laughs> Move that way a little. Okay, that looks good. Well, we did have some that missed the mark today, but we had quite a few that were very successful. Overall, I think it was a pretty good day. As always, I want to thank you for watching and come back and see us again. Okay, bye. Thank you.